Hey folks, Wolves here, welcome back to another Poem Master video. So finally, after months and months of waiting, Ethan is finally good. <laughs> he has a grid, and it's a very, very good grid. So today we're going to check out his sync grid. And this, again, is a build that you probably don't want to run. This is in most of my showcase videos. I'll have a sync grid uh, guide up, up, you know, uploaded later, probably tomorrow or some, sometime, right? Once I get some sleep. Um, so... What we're doing here is basically maximizing his damage as much as possible. So there's a lot of really, really great builds that you could go with. Because like he has a lot of insanely powerful nodes. Stuff like Healthy Healing, Master Healer 2, First Aid that I didn't even pick up, right? Charging Sun 2, Healing Sun, which is honestly a more preferable build. It's more realistic um, and, and more sustainable. It gives Ethan a lot more options, right? But we're just going completely as much damage as we can. Um, which is why we're picking up stuff like Bob and Weave. Alright, super duper effective 1, HP advantage 5, and all the eruption power-up nodes. <laughs> Plus, like, another special attack node for some reason. Um, I mean, we had leftovers, what am I gonna do, right? So, as you can see, very, very powerful. Um, at max, fun fact, uh, this thing actually outdamages Red's Heat Wave, which is, uh, pretty interesting, isn't it, right? Um, he went from, like, a total meme, uh, even though, again, I never thought it was justified. I mean, I'd, I'd, I have no objections to it. Uh, it was funny, but uh, I, I, at least it was always worse than Ethan. Um, he, he, got a, he got a lot of heat <laughs> when no one really um, gave Elisa that much heat. But on the other hand, I don't like, I, I would prefer people not to meme on Elisa <laughs> because I like Elisa a lot. Um, Ethan, I mean, I don't dislike Ethan, but I just don't care for him as much as as, as, as Elisa, right? So, um, yeah, uh, he, but he was pretty bad. Um, he wasn't terrible, but he was not that great. And he always got overshadowed by other Fire Strikers, stuff like um, Infernape, Hilda, Red, Serena, Torkoal, whatever, right? And now he's finally good. He is finally good, and that is a uh, cause for celebration. Unless you're one of those memers and you're kind of sad that the meme is sort of dead, then uh, condolences to you. Um, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll find new memes. We'll find new memes. We'll find new memes, folks. How about Marlin? Let's meme on Marlin. Marlin is terrible. He really is terrible. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, that's Ethan's grid. Um, some other things that I do want to draw folks' attention to. Passive has Speeding Sun 2, um, and, and, and the reason why I do want to talk about that is because we're going to run it in Sun, which is why I'm not take, picking up the er, er, Eruption Move Gauge Refresh, um, and Lyra is the perfect Ethan partner. They work out, They you put them these two together, it works out perfectly. Lyra gives you Sun, that's an extra 50% damage for all of Ethan's Eruptions. Lyra has Speeding Sun 2 as well, so Speeding Sun 2 on Ethan, Speeding Sun 2 on Lyra. That, that's a lot of speed on, on your sons, right? Um, that sounds weird. Healing Sun 1, you also have that. I don't think you have to pick up this, but uh, I mean, it's nice to have. Um, energy Ball Move Gate Refresh, and then down here you have Dire Hit All Critical Squad. So basically what Lyra gives Ethan is not only Sun, you give Ethan plus 6 Special Attack, and you give Ethan plus 3 Crit, right? Which is phenomenal for Ethan. You could also set up Light Screen for Ethan, you know, um, lessen the special attack damage which again is not a huge deal but uh, always good to have as well so let's go ahead and try him out in battle bill actually um i'm exactly at the fire type stage um well not exactly i had to like beat a few stages <laughs> so we get there but we could finally test him out in this fire type stage and what we could do over here right is also bring in misty and starmie so we can max out his bob and weave as well so that's an extra 30 percent on on like his like he has so many multipliers 30% on, on Bob and Weave, 25% on Max with HP Advantage 5, um, extra 10% on Super Duper Effective, right? Um, here's the thing with Ethan, um, I'm personally not really going to invest into him, I'm not going to give him a lucky skill or whatever, uh, because in general, um, in a lot of case scenarios, I still think uh, stuff like Hilda... Uh, Red and, and, and you know, Serena Torkoal are probably still better, um, even though he does more damage uh, on, on the AoE, right? But uh, there there are like a few issues, like Eruption you have to kind of maintain, although again it's not a huge deal because you're running like Starmie with him or whatever. 
Um, and, and if you go for a more realistic build, you could, you have a lot of more healing options. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, for those wondering why I don't have a lucky, I just don't really like using lucky skills on units. <laughs> it's just, it's not necessary. You don't have to use the lucky skills to beat anything. And I'm just saving in, you know, saving lucky, my lucky cookies just in case in the future there's some actual, like, difficult content that would actually require specific lucky skills to beat. Then I'll invest my lucky skills in. Um, also, not 20 out of 20, so there's that as well. Oh, one more thing that uh, it's really cool about Ethan is 367 speed. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty quick, boy, right? So, anyways, let's uh, let's get in this then and uh, see how this goes. All right. Hopefully, I have the speed down. All right, all right we're good. We're good. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Finally, Ethan. I get memed on anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, there we go. Critical squad. Yeah, they just work so well together, man. They work so well together. Um, let's get an unboosted eruption up first. I mean, it's not completely unboosted, but nowhere close to uh, the max uh, your your eruption could do, right? All right? Let's get one of those in. Let's get another one of those in. Just again, just again. This is a showcase video. This is you probably do not want to actually do this. In an actual battle, right? Alright, okay, let's get another Soak of Fire in. And... Yeah, we do have our Sync move up after that. Catch it if you can. There we go. Um, just gonna the next, you know, special defense thing in as well, I guess. So, while well, we're at it. Um... Alright! Unfortunate scenario here. I was hoping... The opponent would stay alive a bit longer, <laughs> so I get more weapons off. But oh well, it is what it is. Let's get this one in then. Um, I'm not even gonna attack with Starmie anymore, <laughs> cause yeah. Ooh, oh, 10,000, 10,000 damage between those those two. 10,000 damage between those two. Wow, amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, that was quick. Well, I, was, I thought that would last longer, but apparently it did not. Um, they they got they got they got completely obliterated by Ethan. Like, did we even lose much health? I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they, they they got destroyed. Um, and, and we're out of MP, so I guess I can't really do that anymore. Um, legendary arena still up? No, not really. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want I don't, I don't want to spend stamina. Okay, we'll spend some stamina. All right. Um, what even? Is there any fire weak stages? Are you fire weak? No, oh, you're fire weak. Good enough. I need some sync orbs anyways. By the way, unfortunately, I can't upload Chris's synchro showcase to get to today because I'm out of orbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just out of orbs. What can you do? What can you do? All right. Let's get some more orbs then. Um, obviously, Ethan. Very powerful, not as powerful as the skip tickets, but uh, <laughs> still something, eh? Right? All right, let's get this in. All right, let's get Dire Head all in again. Get the catch the can in. Like I mentioned before, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> um. I, I'll try out some more uh, realistic builds, which are really, honestly, more fun than this. Like, this is just a lot of damage, um, but, like, there's a lot of really great sustainable builds that, like, because Ethan has so much healing on his uh, grid, which makes sense, right, considering the mechanics. Well, like, yeah, they're, they're all super fun. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll sit on this one. I'll sit on another Ethan move I'll, so I could get the uh, max sunny side up here. The reason why I didn't use Sunnyside up before is I just want the extra bit of speed. <laughs> See, I'm doing something practical here, aren't I? Alright. Got another bit of speed in there as well. Ouch, that definitely hurt. Don't want that to happen. Here's the eruption. And they're, they're gone. Did we just miss the Eridos? Damn. <laughs> That's sad. That is sad. Or did it actually hit and I just didn't notice? Because I was focused on the sides. Alright, let's get another... Oh, that's a dodge. Ah, another dodge. Alright, alright, alright. Good meme, good meme. Good meme. Damn, 
man, it's dodging everything right now, eh? And that's special. Oh well, I couldn't dodge that one. And it's gone. It's gone. I was hoping I could use another Lyra sync move, but uh, no, no. It, uh, could not take that one, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. 180 sync orbs. There we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, isn't it, folks? Um, very, very drastic change from again being absolutely memed on to being competent now. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, all that's for you for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, guys, think in the comments down below. We'll like and enjoy this video. So we're on the channel for some more Pomasses content. Uh, as for actual builds, I will be uploading uh, again, like I mentioned before, um, secret builds later, sometime tomorrow, uh, if I do have the time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.